So, finally we're here for the Clippers against the Suns. This series will be goddamn awesome and it started off great. Norman Powell off the bench started off great and the Clippers were so comfortable early on in this matchup. And here's Russ knocking it down and giving the Clippers a 12-point lead here. But the Suns did get more comfortable as the second quarter went on to end and they finally started to look like a team here at the... Halfway mark through the third quarter, Story crack slams it down. Yeah, I'm late on that call. God damn, I need to be better at commentating this ish. Um, KD passes to a wide open Tory crack, and he was goddamn knocking everything down, it felt like. He was great tonight, and a nine-point lead all of a sudden for the Suns, but they instantly stopped it with a great run by themselves as Kawhi knocks it down, and playoff Kawhi, man. It's a real thing. He's always been like that, man. God damn, Kawhi is so nice. And it's great to see. And here's KD giving it to him on the other hand. As we are in a neck back and forth, back and forth. Very tight game here in the fourth quarter. And here's Kawhi with a nasty step around Devin Booker. As he makes it and gives the Clippers a one point lead. As Devin Booker's defense was great as they talked about all night long. But not enough there. And here's Kawhi making the tough three pointer. As he had 38 points here. Five point lead for the Clippers and Russ is at the free throw line to win it. Well, to win it. To make sure they have a three point lead. He makes the first one and will he make the second one? Yes, he will. Russ with ice in his veins as he was three of 19 and here's the ending possession as Devin Booker has 15 seconds to go. No timeouts and he went, goes to the cup, gets blocked. Russ deflects it of him as he complains about a foul and Russell Westbrook is hyped after that one as the Clippers steal game one in Phoenix against the undefeated Suns with Kevin Durant as they are defeated with Kevin Durant. And KD was really passive in this fourth quarter, man. I don't know what the hell that was about. I don't think they played that great of a defense on him. He was just oddly passive and said he was spacing for the guys. He was overall pretty solid, 27, 9 and 11, but in that fourth quarter, you felt like he could have just done more. And Devin Booker... I don't know, his game felt weird, was solid enough offensively, but had some really back-breaking turnovers, did really well on defense, to be fair, so, uh, of course, the starters were really good, and Tori Craig gave you 22 points, which, I mean, what more do you want from Tori Craig, really, right, and Chris Paul, even though he, he is, yeah, Chris Paul, man, I never liked you, but I respected you, at least, <clears throat> and he had 7, 11, and 10, but, yeah, he couldn't knock down a shot himself. And, of course, the biggest issue is the bench. Because as soon as anybody came in off that bench, <laughs> the Suns were in goddamn trouble, man. And it, it was a rough watch. That bench is... Oh, boy. It was really bad tonight. And funny. The funny thing is that they took just 19 three-pointers, the Suns did. Which is hilarious in a way, right? But, hey, that their team is the mid-range loving team. And... Just a great game, man. I want to give them some credit too because they made it a really great game and down the stretch it was just pure playoff basketball with great intensity and Russell Westbrook, Russell Westbrook with 9, 11 and 8. The game winning block turnover from Devin Booker steal, I don't know how you call it, but Russ was spectacular down the stretch with a lot of great hustle plays, made those two clutch free throws, was spectacular in terms of getting offensive rebounds as he had five tonight and at least four of them probably were in that fourth quarter to be quite honest with you spectacular night from Russ especially the ending one of a kind man one of a kind and I loved Norman Pavel he was great and overall the bench of Clippers is the just they are so much better than the bench of the Suns that they make a huge difference and they were spectacular tonight and I loved that Marcus Morris didn't play I think that's a great thing I don't think you should play, play Bones Highland and Russ together though and Bones Island had some weird moments. He's had a really weird season overall, but at least he tried his best, right? <laughs> well, that sounds weird, but he wasn't great, but at least he was, you know, not a negative on the court per se, right? But while Plumley, Terence Mann and Norman Powell were all really good tonight. They were really good. And they have a they have the potential to be the uh, you know, serious difference. As Kawhi was 38-5-5. He was spectacular. I don't think anybody can stop him from Phoenix. And I think he's into average 30 points a game for this series at worst, right? As you, as you saw, he was way too comfortable out there. 
But to be fair, he is one of the best playoff performers we've seen in, in this generation. While the Clippers just had a really good adjustment period. I loved how Ty Lue coached this game overall. And I just liked their identity tonight, man. They, they were just them. And no matter, you know, after a great start and the Suns coming back, they weren't bothered at all by the Suns coming back and by the atmosphere in Phoenix and nothing. They weren't bored, bothered at all. And it was great to see. Uh, PG is likely done for this series, of course. Uh, so, well, done for this series. Uh, will not play in this series, very likely. So, great start for the Clippers, obviously. And we'll see what happens, man. But I like their chances, actually, a lot.